everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Alma and I'm a part-time reseller on Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, and Depop. And today I have my weekly what sold for you guys. I'm covering the week of 7, 9 to 7, 15. And this video is going up a day later um, because I have family in town and they're still in town. So we've just been out and about doing stuff, movies, eating a lot. Um, and so I just finally snuck away into my room to go ahead and film this what sold video for you guys. I hope you guys are doing amazing this weekend. What are you guys up to? Let me know in the comments below how your sales are. What Have you guys thrifted any gems this weekend? Definitely leave a comment below for me. Like and subscribe. And again, thank you to my new subscribers and my returning subscribers. I truly appreciate you guys. Um, slowly but surely, I'm growing my channel. So I'm really, really excited about that. Now let's begin. I had a sales on all four platforms and the sales were pretty good. Last week's were better, but it's okay. It was just a little bit less. And spoiler alert, I do have quite a few Doc Martin sales on here. So anyway, on 7 and 9, uh, well, 7, 9 to 7, 15, I had one sale on Depop and that was on 7, 12. We're going to start off with a banger. Uh, Doc Martin's like the Oxfords, they were in uh, England, made in England, size 8. So a men's USA 9 and a women's size 10. Got a full price sale here, my one and only, for $124.99. I did pay up $20 for these. I think I shared these with you guys like a couple, few, few months back already it's been. They didn't sit around for way too long, but anyway, I was excited to see those go for. So again, full price of $124.99. Let's continue on to Mercari. Again, $7.9 to $7.15. Uh, let's see here. On $7.10, I had some track by Alegria Comfort Shoes. I, these were uh, a size 10 and a half and they took a little bit to sell. I don't think I pick up this brand anymore. The Alegrias I do, but it depends on the style as well. Um, you have to be really picky because they will sit around for a while. Um, and I still have another pair of these in my closet. But anyway, these sold for 39 bucks. It was still a nice return of investment for those. Um, on 712, I had two sales. I had, first of all, it was Bionic Slippers. These were beige. They had a little bit of writing like on the bottom soles, a couple of little stains as well. So I definitely noted that on those and these sold for 20 bucks. I think I picked them up for a couple of bucks or so. So that was an okay flip. Some Hey Dudes on 712, I sold those for $25. They were a women's size nine. They were pre-owned and Hey Dudes also, they don't sell for as much as they used to. I'll still pick them up if the price is right. So yeah, uh, keep an eye out for those. And then the next, well, the last one on uh, Mercari was, was on 713. There were some Nao Treasure Wedge Fishnet Leather Size 8 Shoes. Those were all the keywords that I used. And these sold for 40. Nao is a great brand. I have no problem moving that uh, brand. I actually sold some size 5 Mary Janes yesterday for like 30 bucks or so. So yeah, Nao, watch out for that brand. And the total, the gross for Mercari was $124. Um, so eBay was my best performing platform. I think I had a, quite a few Doc Martin sales on this platform. So let's begin on uh, 710, a full price sale of $59.99 for this Patagonia men's button up medium shirt. Um, I think the MSRP on that was like $79.99. It had the tags. So I sold that outright and I knew I would because it was brand new. So, um, and wonderful brand. 713, I sold some Corks Bloom Strappy Pumps. Those sold for $29.99. I love picking up this uh, brand Corks or Cork Ease as long as they're in great condition. I love picking those up. Oh, this was a great sale. It was a gift I got from my sister, but I already had the same exact bag and I don't think she realized that. It was a Doc Martin heart-shaped bag. I want to say these go on the, on the uh, site for $110.00. Anyway, it was so beautiful. Anyway, but I already had it, so I didn't need two of them. So I sold it for $245.99. So that was zero cost of goods for me. And um, yeah, amazing sale. Doubled, well, her money because she got it for me, but she didn't care because I already had one. So um, anyway, 714, more Doc Martens. These were laceless shoes. Um, not that they didn't have any laces. They just, that's the style. You can't put laces to the little eyelets there so anyway those sold for $139.99 and I want to say I sourced these as well on Facebook for 15 bucks they weren't like a quick quick flip but anyway that was you know Doc Martens always sell for me so again I, that's the brand that I don't really mind paying up for at all and let's see here oh this was an amazing another Doc Martens sale I know I sourced these also online 
I want to say these were $18 or so, but this pattern always sells. They're the Doc Martin brown boots, but they have like a little daisy pattern and design. But anytime you see that little print on them, whether it's on those boots or on Mary Jane's, you guys, that's definitely a bolo. Um, those sold for $149.99. And I've already gotten a great review on the bag and on these uh, shoes because that was a pretty, pretty great sale. Uh, let's see more uh, Doc Martens. These are Mary Jane platforms. They were a size seven and these sold for $175.99. They were vintage. Um, I put all of those keywords on there. So I think that was my last sale. And all of my sales, the gross was $801.94 on that platform. So that was my highest performer. So yeah, I definitely moved a few. Um... Oh, and I think that these Doc Martens, that they had the little floral print as well, if I'm correct. Um, so the brown ones that I sold before these, they said the little like daisy print on them. And then so these as well. So that's what I'm saying. These sell amazing. And I've sold these before, I think on Poshmark as well. So $801 for um, uh, eBay, uh, thanks to the docs. That definitely brought up my uh, ASP for sure. Last but not least, Poshmark, $7.9 to $7.15. I had a, some amazing sales as well. Let's begin uh, with, well, hang on a second. I don't think I had a ton. Maybe, no, I didn't, just a few sales then. So anyway, on 7-12, I sold some men's Skechers. And actually, this was a pretty good sale because these were almost brand new. They were men's boots. I believe they're a size 10 and a half, 53 bucks. That was a guest buyer. I remember that because they had just like no reviews that just signed up. So it was a guest buyer. I love those because they're usually like full price sales. I don't know that they can make an offer when they're guest buyers. I don't know. I don't remember that. But anyway, let's, uh, oh, again, on 7-12, Doc Martin style 9227. These sold for 80 bucks. This wasn't the, great, the greatest style. I picked these up at a, like a, I remember at a certain thrift store in my area, and I know these were 10 bucks, but it wasn't the best. They were made in England, but it wasn't the best style. They're just plain black boots that they did sit around way too long. But I had them for 100 Somebody offered me 80 And yes, please, I accept it so quick on that. Uh, let's see. Oh, this is a seven, on 713 I picked up this a little lemon bag for $1.60. It was a Good Fortune belt bag, a fanny pack. It was a larger size. Um, I didn't keep it for myself because it did have a lot of wear. But of course, I noted everything into the description box. And this sold for $66. Happily accepted an offer for that one when, again, I picked it up for like a buck and a half. So that was pretty good turnaround there. Um, and the, on 713, I got rid of some torrid black velvet heels. These sold for $21. And so that was a full price sale there as well. So for Poshmark, my total was uh, $220 um, gross on there. So now I'm going to go ahead and let you guys know what the, all the fee, all the, um, the gross for all of the four platform was this week. It was a thousand two hundred and seventy dollars and ninety three cents. That was pretty cool for one week. So the net that went into my bank account was eight hundred and forty nine dollars and fifty seven cents. So that is great, great for a part-time reseller. My, my sales are kind of holding steady these last uh, couple of weeks. So that's very exciting to see my sales go up a little bit. Anyway, um, I have been still kind of slacking on my listing. I'll be honest with you guys. I've been listing a little bit, but not as much as I should on the weekend. So I'm definitely going to try to get some listings up today and go from there. But yeah, let me know how you guys are doing in the comments below. Are you guys having a great weekend? And I am gonna back-to-back -back film right after this. I can't wait to film my garage sale finds from the weekend and my thrift store finds as well. And I, that video will probably go up instead of Tuesday because I'm a day late um, uploading my stuff. So I think this one will go up on Wednesday. But I'm super excited, so that's what I'll be doing today, unloading my truck from my weekend treasures and hopefully get sorting and steaming and washing and all the reseller duties that we have. But anyway, 
love this part-time job hustle hopefully um my videos help you guys as far as what to pick up and what's selling um so you guys know kind of what to watch out for or even do a little bit like online online sourcing um but anyway again we'll talk to you guys in a couple of days again thanks bye